Hello, in this series of notebooks, I want to show you how to use GV Tour X-Ray, also known as GVXR, the X-Ray simulation library on GPU. So, with some colleagues, we created a series of Jupyter notebooks in Python to show how to use GV Tour X-Ray. The first one, which is what I'm presenting now, will show you how to install and test that GV Tour X-Ray is uh, working well. So if you're not familiar with notebooks, to run the current cell, which is the one highlighted with this blue bar, you need to click on this triangle here, or like most people would do, press shift enter in your keyboard and that goes to the next cell. So first we're going to install the package, then we're going to check that it's working, which version of GVXR is installed, both software and hardware. And finally, I'll show you how to get help if you get stuck. So to install the library, uh, thankfully this is on PyPy. So you can install it uh, using pip install GVXR. And, and because this is something from uh, the, we will use in the terminal, we need the exclamation mark here. Or, you know, you, you just type it here, pip install, blah, blah, blah. No exclamation mark here. But in the notebook, because that's a system command, you need to do that. So I put dash dash user to make sure it's installed in my home directory. And that prevents having a permission denied error. And here, upgrade. It's already installed, but it, if it wasn't, you download GVXR and then install it. Then, well, we're going to test that it works. There are two test programs we can use. So one is for off-screen rendering, which is useful for compute nodes um, on a supercomputer or cloud instances. So when no monitor is attached to the computer or you're using a remote computer, it creates an OpenGL environment, load a polygon mesh, here a STL file, and, and then do a simulation. That's the result of our simulation use that's displayed using three different lookup tables, a linear one, a log scale, and a power law when gamma is equal to 0 0.5. It can be useful because here you can see we can't really see details here, which start to appear in these two um, images. Same thing, but using different lookup tables for the pixel values. You can see here the color bars. A screenshot of the simulation environment. You can see the X-ray source here, the cone beam here in pink, the object in purple, and the detector just here. Uh, we could do that in the uh, terminal as well. So I'm going to do that dash m for module gvxr python 3 dot test. And, and here I'm going to run the interactive uh, test. So what differs is really how we create the OpenGL context. I have a screen attached to my computer so I can run an uh, interactive simulation. So you see the test window here. You see uh, the plot using a linear lookup table, a log scale, a power law, the three pictures put next to each other. Here we go. The screenshot, you can see that we change the background color from gray to white. And this is plot using matplotlib. And now we got this interactive environment. We can rotate, zoom in and out. Uh, we could hide the beam, we could show the triangles of the 3D object. You can see all the individual triangles here. If you want something that looks like a, a radiograph in medicine, we can display the image in negative, just like they used to do with films. And when we want to quit, we press Q or escape. 
So this two test program will create some uh, data that we can display. And in here, um, we're going to visualize this data using uh, image J. Oh, I think this is the open one .tiff. It's save as a TIFF file. I don't know why Linux put like a, a slash here. So hopefully that opens the image, unless I made a mistake in the file name. It's well possible. I did it not long ago. No. Okay, so never mind. I'll do it again. And I want to open this one. So this is my image. You can see here the pixel value. So 80 for 80 cave. You can't see much details here. Uh, so if you want, you can do a log scale here. You may have to adjust brightness and contrast now. And, and you can see um, it's you have a much idea, like a better brightness and contrast. You can see details here. But keep in mind, this is, this is now a log scale. Right, so let's go back to our Jupyter notebook and consider we want to use this in Python. So we need to import the package. And then uh, there are three main components to the GVOTRX Swift framework, the core library, the simple API, and the wrappers. The core library is a low-level programming API, uh, programming interface, low-level API. Simple GVXR is a high-level API, much simpler to use. This is what I use when I want to do Python code because I wrote some wrappers for languages such as Python, Java, C Sharp, R, TCL, GNU Octave, Perl, and Ruby. We can print the different versions, so the number and the date when it's been compiled, the compiler and the platform. So now I'm going to create an OpenGL environment. So there are two backends. One is EGL for Linux only, and this is for when you don't have a screen. If you have a screen, you could use that one, and then you have the visualization window. So, and, and this works for Windows, Mac OS, and of course Linux as well. So we create our OpenGL environment, and then we can check the various versions. So the uh, manufacturer of the graphics cards, which graphics card is used, and the software. So it's an NVIDIA GPU, a GeForce RTX 20. ATTI GPU. The drivers are here, and this is a version of OpenGL that's currently supported. And when we are done, well, we can terminate. So if you want some help, the best is to send an email to the mailing list. So just add your email address here, register. You can unsubscribe whenever you want. Um, Alternatively, I often open this, so that's a header for simple GVXR, and that shows you all the functions, their parameters, their, and their types. I try to comment as many functions as possible, but th there might be a few that are not. Um, you could look at the help in Python, so this is a Python way to do the same thing, but this is quite exhaustive. I think we could do a, 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 just a single function if we wanted to. So that, that's the same as well, but to do that, obviously, you need to know the name of the function. Uh, I'm happy to do that and any of the web browser to do it. If you find a bug, uh, you can email me, uh, you can open a ticket on SourceForge or use a forum or send a message on the mailing list. Right, so you know how to install test and get help if you are stuck with GVXR. That's all for now. Thank you.